here, this is Craig Matrix for Video Celebrity News and I have got a special guest, a marketeer, a good looking guy, a wonderful superhuman being that's going to share with us things around being crazy or not, no, smart thinking or being crazy, John yeah. Lloyd. <laughs> I think crazy Craig. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm the crazy, he's the smart in this specific interview. If the signal's good, I need a love, a like, a thumbs up. If it's clear, I need a wow. We're going to spend the next 10 minutes doing this quick intro and then later on, if we don't get full signal, we'll do a high definition, uncut, raw, unedited version going through to sharing that on videocelebrinews.com. So John, let's just set the tone and show everybody where we're at. We're at the beach. It's phenomenal. I like to get people out of the office area. Let's just do another walk around here. Signal is good. Live online. Let's go into some of the Q&A. So, John. Tell us some of the highlights of your career. You've traveled extensively, you're a marketing guru, you're an author, you're a speaker, presenter. I mean, you've got a wealth of experience. Your gray hair finally shows what, some experience. What gray hair? <laughs> so let's go to one of the highlights. Let's talk about international experience. Let's start with that. International experience. Um, in about 2001, I was made the South African, or the African board member for the International News Media Association. So that gave me four years of fun traveling around the USA, speaking at conferences, representing, representing South Africa, representing Africa, and it was fun. But a lot of my, more of my fun has been um, more local. Um, I had the great pleasure during the time after my newspaper career and becoming a consultant to the Mandela Rhodes Foundation. I was for a while on Archbishop Tutu's Kids with HIV Foundation. Um, I've recently been a, uh, put on to the Chester Williams, the, the fantastic, but legendary on, rugby player foundation. Yeah, yeah. So those are highlights. Hey, well, I'm going to interject you. Now, I wish you told me all this stuff before we actually met. Because I would have got him to arrive here two hours earlier. Because it turns out he knows much more than I expected. <laughs> well, as we said, smart and crazy. <laughs> smart and crazy. Let's talk about that. You're an author. Tell us the title of your book and let's uh, run a little bit onto that. In 2012, I wrote a book called Smart Thinking for Crazy Times. Um, in South Africa at that stage, I thought we're real crazy times. Um, and I had written a newspaper column for a few years before that, uh, a collection of inspirational and personal effectiveness stuff. And a good friend of mine, suddenly one day we're sitting over a glass of wine, he, his name is Kevin, said, John, why don't you put this into a book? And it's weird, one little trigger and within three days I comp recompiled everything and Smart Thinking for Crazy Times was born and it's done reasonably well. Um, I use it as a, as, a, as a training tool for the people that come, my students and my delegates who come to my seminars and workshops and conferences. Um, and it served me well, but it, it has been a fantastic um, lever to help people and help businesses and um, break some ice for these people. And also, I think a book is a fantastic calling card. If you're going to be a visible expert, I think the starting point is have a high quality book or a book that reflects who you are and becomes your business card. So you know, just coming into that, so guess what my title of my book is, okay, which was self-published, which is very appropriate now that you've said what your title is. Mine's called Life Sucks Extreme Inspiration. And please, you're welcome <laughs> to download it as an ebook. And, and I agree with you, you know, when you put something down in writing and you get your peers to review, your clients to review, and your family and friends to review your thoughts in writing, not only can you reflect on your, yourself, because you can go back, you know, I've reread it a few times and I've thought, wow, where, where was my mind, you know, like, what was I thinking at the time to write this? And it's interesting is that, as you said, if you want to be seen as an expert in whatever you are, an authority in whatever you are, then have the guts and courage to put it down pen to paper, or you can write everything today quite easily, or you can actually do audio podcasts. There's so many ways to collect your thoughts and document it. Okay, we got people online. Leisha, thank you. Paul Kruger, regular of mine. Paul, thanks for always following us. For all of you that are watching, you can send us comments. I got lol from Leisha. If the sound is good, there's a bit windy here. So please, I need lots of love, wow, and thumbs up so we know we're doing a great job. More questions. John, highlight of uh, an event that you went to overseas, like an award, an accolade, something that 
it's a, like for you is a legacy thing something that your kids should really remember you by well they won't remember me by this but i remember it well i was sitting in san francisco doing my first international conference speaking job and i was given one hour at a, a, a media conference and i was as nervous as heck my knees were shaking i was petrified i sat in union square that was the hotel right the fairmont hotel on union square i tried to gather my thoughts i went to i think my first starbucks ever bought a muffin and a cup of coffee got ill sorry viewers oh, out yo, yo. there so i was okay. so nervous i got sick went in got to the counter took three deep breaths and says i'm a proud south african and my topic at that point was talking about the the then named cape argus pick and pay cycle tour for an hour there were two thousand people in the audience the first person i met at the counter had a sticker called new york times editor that made me want to get ill again i ran to the loo again so i had a great presentation it was okay i think i survived it. I, I didn't uh, i didn't sound like shakespeare on the day i probably don't sound like that yet now 20 years later gave it my best shot At the end of the day they put me onto this board and the next night lo and behold for the newspaper group i then was representing called independent newspapers we won the best of show worldwide for our marketing okay, work in so Cape Town. there we go! So that's what I'm proud of. I, love I, it. I wasn't proud of the mess I left on Union Square. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, local is lacquer. If you've just joined us, Craig Metrich for Video Celebrity News with John Lloyd. I mean, he's sharing some of his experiences of travel overseas. You know, really at the highest level, representing South Africa. And I'm proud to be with him and lots of people online. So thanks for joining us. John, you know, the interesting thing about copy and writing and the power of the word you know, and putting things into context, how do you feel social media can benefit from, let's say, your experience? Because you've been in the newspaper game, from what I understand, you're a marketeer, you know, you want accolades. What, what could you share with all of us watching this, aspiring bloggers, as an example? Um, what would you say? How do we go about it? How do we all become better? in posting world-class content that's the question okay well social media is now it is the only media in south africa i think there's 6.2 million face uh, linkedin viewers 8.2 facebook and or 8.2 twits or 15 more on yeah. facebook so it's huge numbers if i had to give a, a tip from the heart it is remember you become everyone has now got a chance to be their own editor they become the editor of their own media so treat your media with respect I tend to think a lot of people get lost they're not writing for their audience they tend to be writing for themselves about i i i the moment you do what you're doing today it's all about your audience it's all about adding value it's all about giving back and if you're going to do well on social media and and take that one step higher and become good at social selling your services your expertise your niche your value then the first thing you have to do is look outwards at the value you're giving to your reader, your viewer, the person out there. A lot of people tend to get too inwardly focused and think about so the, their so intelligence. That, that narcissism, you know, in actual fact, is a very fine balance between the narcissism, which you kind of do have to have. I mean, if you look at the Kardashians, I mean, if they are not narcissistic in some form, they wouldn't get the exposure, you know, in the selfish. So there is a certain element of marketing. But where they are very, very smart, and, and Ryan Seacrest is phenomenal at this, he understands what you as an audience wants to get. So although they do utilize them as celebrities and superstars, they're always saying, you as the viewer, what are you going to get out of this? Are you going to be inspired? Are you going to be excited? Are you going to be doing, is it going to be gossip? They're very, very centered on, and I mean a balance, could I say this, and I've learned this as well, it's 90% focus on the audience and maybe 10% you get to focus on yourself, if not more. Yes? Uh, totally, you've okay. got it spot on there. Okay, Christopher Joseph is also online. Shout out to all our online audience. We've still got great signal. John, let's just do a little turnaround. I've got internationals on board. I want to show them this stunning venue. Cape Town, South Africa. It's always a little bit windy here. How's that? Let's go back out of the wind. Just to shine back into the light. Keeping signal. There we go. All right, we're going to get towards a few more questions because the signal is still great. John, a message for all fellow South Africans and then a message to everybody globally. Let's talk about specifically, I want to talk about branding, personal branding. 
Okay, how can we all improve? Because you just said like social media is so powerful. How can we improve our personal branding? By, by first and foremost, understanding that every single person has the potential to be the brand you. And being the brand you is then taking care of that brand and understanding that every single word you put out, every decimal point you put out, you are putting your reputation out on the line and you've got to make sure you revere your audience, you respect yourself, you respect your audience and you write for their needs and you don't get personal, you don't get too political. People can have opinions, I believe we've got to have opinions and say what we feel, but be careful with it, don't be reckless, don't as football parlance ch tackle the ball not the man not the I person. get it yeah yeah it's a foul if you tackle the person that's a great analogy if you tackle the person then in actual fact you could get a red card and be taken off the field whereas if you're actually sincerely trying to tackle the ball in a soccer game with world cup on that's an awesome analogy right a few more questions we still got a great signal this is john lloyd with craig metric john is a smart guy yeah with the gray hair tapping him on the shoulder <laughs> Okay, this is to inspire you, energize you. I'm a business coach and inspirational speaker. And you can go look at my business content on youarepowerful.com. Almost celebrating, John, 14 years. Can you believe it? 14 years of highs and lows. A little bit of hell on earth from time to time. I've got massive faith as an entrepreneur. But to some of the give I want to give you is just getting to know you as a person. Is you are so right. It is all about the giving element. You know that gift to get? I think we need to all realize is you're not going to get back now. So let's give and you're going to get back. So give to your audience, audience, give content, you know, give value to them. What value would you like to leave behind for the audience? And let's stay on your, your book. Let's go to that. You know, about uh, thinking, about crazy times and how to get through these crazy, crazy times. So my question is, What's the purpose of marketing and social media today? Okay, well, let's break them into two. Um, the purpose of marketing is to reach an audience and quite simply put, sell your stuff, sell your services, sell your product, um, be of benefit, be of value, exchange value, whatever you've got, you want to exchange something for value. So marketing is quite simple. Um, Marketing I see as a three-way thing. All of us are potentially marketers in this sphere, and I like your concept of individuals branding themselves. Marketing is like a three a three-step stool. You have a message, you have a, a, a market, a target market, and um, you have a media that you use. In this case now awesome, you're using Facebook awesome. effectively. Correct. But now if you don't have the right message and use the right media, and to the right target target market if one of the three is faltering then you're probably going to have substandard response substandard value and wonder well it wasn't worth it at the end of the day marketing needs to be an investment too many people see marketing as a cost if i could tell you that for every one rand 50 you spend on marketing you or every one rand you spend on marketing you'd get one rand 50 return then would you spend on marketing? Yeah, obviously, because the, ratio, because the ratio is obviously very, very good, positively. So, so you've got to view marketing as a profit center, not a cost center. That shift immediately helps your business grow. And and marketing is not hosting another golf day and having an outing with people. <laughs> We've all done Mar a few of those. Marketing is about reaching your customers, offering them preeminent value, offering them powerful stuff that they will return to you and come back to you and do business with you that's what's marketing social media side social selling is taking over the world the numbers are there yeah everyone in fact they're talking like 3.2 billion uh, internet so far and it's just going to get exponential it's uh, just to come in there if you talk about the internet of things and that's what i'd like to bring mm. up to wrap up we've still got signal with a lot of people online if you look at the internet of things what is happening is devices are connecting with artificial intelligence in other words your car would tell you, listen, by the way, the temperature right now is increasing. I need to turn myself on, i.e. the aircon. It would send a signal to your phone. The whole interaction between social media and devices is going to be taken to another level. Would you agree? No, totally. I mean, look what's happened the last 28 years of the internet in, in the world. Look what's just happened the last two years. And lovely dog we've got. <laughs> <laughs> it's all part of it. Okay, so we're going to wrap up with a lot of noise in the background. 
by the way craig maybe you were the smart guy and i was a crazy because now i understand when i look at your previous shows why you wear sunglasses <laughs> it's, it's, it's not nice looking up there so yeah he finally realizes when you vlog you need to wear glasses because you can't see anything on the screen otherwise so we're going to wrap up this is john lloyd okay my guest a superstar in his own right really knows his subject matter i will share the link to his stuff on our facebook site my name is craig metrich I want to give you a parting, a parting comment to the audience. What makes you a great guy? That's my question. Mm. A human being. Not your business. Why you? Well, what makes me a great guy is that I don't think I'm a great guy. <laughs> I like that. My, Humble. my philosophy is, my sales philosophy is, and this is where a lot of people get it wrong, and I'm going to be a little bit wordy here, Craig, so apologies up front. Um, most of us go in life looking at we the great guys and get people to know like and trust us now if i use this as a selling analogy there's too much of that going on and it's too one directional the only way to sell to every influence persuade and sell to every single people you do business is to simply like the customer like the client so focusing like that on the customer centricity as right. i was saying because if i like you and i show that i like you and i revere you guess what's going to happen it's like a mirror back to me i'm going to get everything i want so the, don't see yourself as the person the nice person the sexy person the kardashian hey Don't i want to be the sexy person <laughs> no, you, you're the sexy person <laughs> just like others give to others showcase to others and it will be like a 360 degree mirror it's like a cat scan coming back to your good vibe clients they give you money they look after you they do whatever you want okay i get it i love it we're on the same page here's my wrap up this is craig metric for videocelebrinews.com this is the good news channel this is the channel to inspire you energize you and excite you and this has been a content rich experience with wisdom shared by my special guest john lloyd john lloyd thank you very much thanks for sharing this time in this spectacular venue share the good news share the light share the love thank you craig thanks to your audience love to all